Welcome to the Antique Mall of America right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. When people think of Las Vegas, they all think about gambling, hotels, all kinds of stuff. But they also got some really cool stores around. You just drive a little bit off the strip and it's just a regular town like everywhere else. So today we're gonna check out the Antique Mall. You never know what you're gonna find there. So I love stuff like this. I don't wanna sit there in the casino all day and play games. No, I just wanna see what other people have to sell. It is a pretty big mural. They got some old hotels, the Hilton, the Luxor, Stratosphere Tower, Excalibur, Paris, Rio, and Sahara. And right across the street from the mall, they got those two transformers standing right there. Just imagine those things could move around. Maybe in the future it's gonna happen, but I love that stuff. Looks like this whole place looks pretty dead here. All the stores are closed. The only store that is open is the Antique Mall of America. Let's check it out. Wow, it looks way bigger from the inside than from the outside. They got some pretty good stuff already, but it got this smell, this antique smell, old, and then this certain kind of musk, you know? It smells weird in here. Right when you walk in, they got the coolest stuff here. I gotta shout out my friend Liam, big Michael Jackson fan, big Janet Jackson fan. Look at this chair here. This is Janet Jackson's original chair. It says right here, Liam has a lot of stuff from Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson. And it says $2,900 firm. Janet Jackson chair. And it says right here, Julian auction. So that's the original chair. Janet Jackson was sitting in here. I seen the same chair at Helms on Venice Boulevard. It's like a really expensive furniture store. They got like a whole bunch of different ones, but I, th I think I've seen it there. So she probably bought it right uh, at Helms. And then if you go a little further, they have a lot of Elvis stuff here. The lady told me they got a lot of stuff from the estate. TC Bay, taking care of business. That's a $200 check Elvis signed. Hmm, and there's a certificate with it. So that's an original one for $2,500 firm. There's a picture of him. It is pretty cool. Really good picture. What is this? A concert ticket stub from Elvis Presley show. Sun Records. Wow, is there a price on there? Probably can't pay for it, too much money. Oh, it's like a 3D. Oh wow, it's, I don't know what kind of material, but it's like a 3D picture of Elvis. Younger Elvis, older Elvis. Feels like plaster. There's no prize on it. 
but more Elvis Presley memorabilia. Stay away, Joe. Original movie pictures. Oh, nice. 1970s, I worked Dennis Roberts Boutique on Sunset Boulevard. Elvis pictures. Follow that dream. 1975, Elvis Presley Las Vegas Hilton Purple Stage Scarf. I'm not sure if those are all private people selling their stuff because they got like different sections. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, lots of little knickknacks. Those are definitely individual people. Wow, look at the doors picture here. Really cool pictures. Wizard of Oz. Got Happy Gilmore. Those are not signed though, those are just framed pictures. Say hello to my little friend. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Elvis picture, $30. And they got like a whole bunch of different ones. I've never even seen that picture of Marilyn before. Typewriters, hubcaps, All you need for your man cave. You guys probably know that I collect license plate. Land of Lincoln, Illinois. $10 is actually a really good price of that, but I got those already. This is pretty unique. I've never seen it before. Seek Fit and Roy magazine or like a comic. I don't know, but I can't reach it. It's up too high. Whatever your heart desires, you can find here. Can you believe it? At one time we were taking pictures like this. More license plates. I don't know how long this video is gonna be, filming everything. All those metal signs. Jack Daniels, Ford. <laughs> Look at all this stuff here, this is unbelievable. Princess Diana's head. Look at this old picture. You think they ever thought they're gonna be on the GIV channel? No. Miro, Miro on the wall. Who is the cutest of all? I actually have a couple of those old Disney dollars too. And there's a signed helmet. Look, there's poo on the shelf. Excuse me, can you keep a secret? One person's trash is another person's treasure. $62 for a picture from Ikea. That's Amsterdam, I walked right here on that street before. Shout out to Video Bob Mosley. They got a kiss sign here for nine hundred fifty dollars. I mean, you can spend hours in here. It's like huge this place. Literally, stuff everywhere. Are there any good records in here? Neil Diamond, Valley of the Dolls. Oh, those are really old. Maybe I should buy those heels, and then find a girl they fit in it and then I have a new girlfriend. Yeah, right, that's gonna happen. Maybe I want a cowgirl. Those are nice boots. Shania, do you fit in those heels? You would be the perfect match for me. Lassie, Lassie. American muscle cars in pink. I think I'm gonna get this license plate and I'm gonna get that one. Pretty happy already, found three license plates. This reminds me of a comic con, comic books everywhere. And some of them are worth lots of money, but I don't know nothing about it. What a complete Spider-Man outfit. Um, I don't think that fits me. You gotta come up with a system. Should I go this way or this way or this way? You could buy this at the Siegfried and Roy show. I think my mom has it. They charge $39. Signed laser disc, Kevin Costner, Gene Hackman for $450. Whoa, Santa, you scared me. I still got all my old matchbox 
from when I was a kid. Looks almost like Roy Lichtenstein pop art paintings. You can buy a book from a German fellow, Albert Einstein. No, I'm not gonna read this, it's too big. Nobody home. That would look good in my castle. $129. Nice metal sign of Mickey for your backyard. Embroidered flag with a seal for $259. $8,700, now Summer Festival 1975, a retro Elvis Presley poster from 1975. I mean, look at the print. It's like old school printing right there. Elvis books, pictures. All kinds of pictures. Ronald Reagan, 1985. Mmm, what are you looking at, huh? You can just buy those trophies and put them in your cabinet and tell people you won them. I don't know who Johnny Sheffield is. I thought it was Johnny Weissmiller. They got Ken, Barbie, I'm a Barbie girl. And it's all 10% off of all the items. Big boy. You think all the rent of all those little stores here pays for the whole property they probably make a killing you will definitely find some unique stuff here like this piece in the back I don't even know is that from a church well it's definitely from something that was outside for a while for a second I thought it was PV Herman who's Ed Grimley never heard about him there's even more stuff upstairs. Oh, those are all metal signs. The Grinch, Mickey Mouse, and Homer Simpson. Believe it or not, but I really like those metal pieces here. Those are old P.O. boxes from the post office. You just need a house to put all that stuff in. $1,800, it's yours would definitely buy this poster, but not for $325. Original from 1977. $275 for a three fin surfboard. Looks pretty old. You can find those in the alley in Venice. Well, I see something here. Speed limit sign. How much is that one? 20 bucks. Want somebody paint it over? Uh, nah. Original, I would buy. You know, some people just came to a thrift store and they bought an old picture. And then later on, they found out it was like a few million dollars worth. Could that be worth some money here? Who knows? $65. Man working, no shooting. They got all those bullet holes in here. Look at this. I got this one at home. I got those at home. Somebody would really like this. One of a kind, custom made WWF box. All oh, Elvis Presley records. 25 bucks, I got this one. I got this one. Yeah, those are the cheap ones. This used to be Gorbachev's red phone from the Kreml. Mom? Yeah, it's me. Yeah, no, I'm just calling to tell you, uh, all the people watching all the time, they always ask how you're doing. So I think, are you doing okay? All right, you're doing good. Yeah, people ask all the time. So I can't answer every single person. So mom is doing okay. All right, mom, I'll call you later. Tschüssing. Elvis Presley Teddy Bear taking care of business. Well, people like Elvis. Are you lonesome tonight? Then just watch the G.I.V. tonight. Betty Page, Marilyn, Elvis. G.I.V. is in heaven right now. We got license plates and street signs. Let me see what they have here. Yeah, I'm getting those two. Those are $30 for two of them. That's actually a good price for 
a combo. Original signed picture of David Copperfield for $35. I'm not sure, maybe they work on commission. Whatever they sell, they get a percentage. That makes sense too. Holy moly, what happened to you, Betty? A purse made out of a license plate with like one of those cables here. Now I'm not gonna buy it, but I like it. Old bird cage and an old door. $15 for Michael Jackson picture. Motley Crue, look at Tommy's hairstyle. Charlie's Angels. Not Mike, don't you know that's Beyonce? Really creative. The Duke himself. It's a nice picture, huh? Some people do a vlog and they walk through here, but they don't say nothing. I think that would be too boring and I just walk by and hold my camera up. No, I don't like it. Oh, look at this. What's Mike Tyson doing here? Put this on the side. What is this? Oh, that's a fight. 1999. Just a framed golden record. Heartbreak Hotel. 24 karat gold for $125. Right next to Johnny Cash and Frank Sinatra. You can spend hours in here looking through all the records. Nice boombox. You know what they say, right? You break it, you buy it. Nice teeth. For $5,500, you can have the Predator in your apartment. Hollywood signed for $350. I mean, come on, even if you sell those for $6 and $8 and $15, how much money can you make? That's a waste of space here. Wait a second, you two autograph picture of the whole band for $500. Mick Jagger for $900. But this is Madonna. There's no price on that one. I don't think it comes with a certificate of authenticity. Did I say that word right? Incredible picture of the Beatles. There we got the Psycho Circus kiss. Not Gene Simmons, it's Richard Simmons. What has he been up to? Look, an empty booth. That would be good for GIV merchandise and artwork. Michael, Michael, Brittany, Michael, Hannah Montana. What? They got Ruby's red slippers here. Original. You can have Dr. Huxable's signature for $35. Mel B's original high heels when she was in Spice Girls. You got the flag on the side. Can't believe it, they got Schloss Neuschwanstein from Germany here as a model. Forget what I said about the other high heels. I want the girl that fits in those. Richard Kiel from The Longest Yard. I liked him in Moonraker. $35, his signature. Och, verdomme, that but you have a wooden clocks from the Netherlands. It looks good. Everything in this case is 30% off. I'm uh, getting a little tired looking at all this. 50 bucks for American flag in a case. I have one at home too. See, that's what I'm saying. This is a original Van Gogh, $2.3 million standing right here in that antique store. $2,700 or best offer for those two. We're here 225, 425, 25, 25, 24, 44. Did I show this already? I don't remember. No, those are the matchbox. So a lot of 80s stuff here. Wonder Woman, Hot Wheels, little trucks, Grogu, Planet of the Apes. We got everything here. Porcelain. How much is that fire extinguisher? No price on it. 
I kind of feel home here with all the angels next to me. More angels. You're a cutie. Yes, exactly for this reason I touch the angels. So you can leave a comment. GIV touches everything. It's not his stuff. How come he touch everything? Because I can. More angels here. If you're an angel, you can touch everything. See, some people don't know how much those license plates are worth and some people do. I don't have that one. Normally this one comes with a yellow color. They charge $24.95 for one plate. That's a little bit too much, I would say. I got one here from 1948, 49, $52. More angels. Wow, more here. Iowa, Indiana, Michigan, California. This is a good one, PV 1967, but it's over $40. 1945, Oklahoma, $70. I have the number one. What you looking at, you want some beef? Yeah, I'm talking to you, Mike. I used to be a people person until people ruined it. There's prints playing in the background, $75 for this lamp. You probably think it's expensive, but if you have to buy all those little uh, pieces, it's gonna cost you, I don't know how much, but it's pretty close to $75. Even one of those bulbs that cost like $8 or $9, that's a good deal. I like it. Oh, this is from one flew over the cuckoo's nest. The guy did not talk to a whole movie and then at the end he talked, signed autograph. There's an old Rolling Stone magazine cover with Jim Morrison on it. Oh, that's that nurse. That nurse from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I met her at the Comic-Con before. And then we got signature of Dexter. Kiss. Lick it up. All kinds of records here. I really like stuff like this. When they sign stuff and then they put like little stuff on the side here. I'm not sure if this is the same little monkey that James Dean had in his movie when he was laying on the ground and it was playing. Could be, it looks like it. Shout out to my friend Gonzo from Africa. Africa for me and Africa for you, the clan. Come together for the save of the future. He has a lot of stuff like this in Venice in his store. Those are all masks and stuff from Africa. Booyaka shaka, booyaka shaka. Even those are not horror masks, but they kind of, I don't know. Nah, is it creepy or not? This one is for sure. Wow. It was definitely worth coming here. I got my license plate, something new for my collection. And I'm absolutely exhausted walking around there. I don't know how, how long I spend in there, but just walking slow and looking at everything. And the last three days, I barely got any sleep. I'm super exhausted right now. And I gotta leave before it starts raining. Look at this. Hopefully it's gonna be a nice sunset so I can take some good pictures. <laughs> look at me, I look terrible. I don't have enough clothes with me. I only bought clothes for two days, three days, I think. Um, I didn't bring a shaver. I have to go to Ross today, buy some new underwear, some socks, and maybe a couple more t-shirts. Because I didn't want to stay that long here in Vegas, but uh, I'm having a good time and I'm going to stay a couple more days. So anyway, it's really windy outside right now. That's why I'm sitting in the car doing the ending here. I don't know how long the video is going to be because I filmed a lot. We'll see, but you know what to do. If you happen to like this video, maybe it was boring, maybe it wasn't. I had a fun time to do this and I'm glad I came here. Maybe you want to subscribe to my channel, German in Venice. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Now I got to go home and maybe edit this video, but there's so much to see here. I don't know what I should do. See you guys later. Tschüssing. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.